Today on Coffee Pot, the show where we drink coffee after smoking pot, we're gonna be debunking everything you know about coffee. <laughs> I'm armed with an arsenal of coffee knowledge because I worked as a barista for four years, seven years ago. Really had an impact on your personality, huh, Miles? Yeah. <laughs> Today's challenge is to make an educational, classy cooking show, just like Julia Child. The only catch is that right before filming, we got extremely zooted, and now we must fight through the giggles to give you a well-rounded culinary learning experience. Try right, one more time to explain what we're doing. We're going to look <laughs> up blue and blue, and we're gonna get yes. if, you, if, you linger, if you linger too much on what the video is, you're gonna see right through it. We're getting coffee, and we're making coffee. Okay, basically. <laughs> On today's video, we are going undercover to a local coffee shop and having their espresso latte and drip coffee. We're using what we've learned out in the field to return to my state-of-the-art coffee lab. I like to drink coffee all day long. I want to be sipping the good stuff. Right. Having it hit the back of my throat. Weird. I'm gonna say that. All day. I don't think of drinking as hitting the back of my throat. <laughs> Will, it's time to suit up. Best part of waking up is folders in your cup. We are out here undercover, ready to go inside Bloom and Plume. We're gonna be normal, we're gonna be regular. I am so hungry, by the way. Yeah, yeah, me too. Biscuit, egg, and bacon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'll take, this. we'll take this to share. It's a pretty sick latte art to hear. Oh, really? In my opinion. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, man, it's really good. What's awesome about it, it's so drinkable. It's really bright and like acidic. The sheer width of it makes you like, you're fucking face first into a mm -hmm. cappuccino. Oh. Ah. <laughs> well, Will, I think we know enough. <laughs> I think we've really gotten a lot of good intel here. The espresso was little. The cappuccino was big. <laughs> a little, it's what like a little American. What you're saying makes no sense. No. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, we, we need to go. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it tastes this rich, fill it to the rim. With brim. Fill your cup to the rim with the richness of brim. We are back in the studio. We refueled, okay? We retoked. Am I right, Will? That's right. Will's in his special little sous chef seat, so you don't even worry about him. You don't have to worry about me, I'm safe. Stop writing in about Will, okay? Hey, <laughs> I know a lot of people writing in concerned about how Will's doing. Don't worry about it. He's fine, see? We well, tell him, Will. That's right, I'm doing just fine. I wanted to give you a little light. I feel like you're in the dark, honey. Oh my God. <laughs> It's so bright. I don't think this is necessary. You already lit the set. See? <laughs> now everybody see can better. see Will, and they say, look at your shining face, Will. We can all see you way better now. Coffee is the number one export in the world. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I don't know, like, what that even would be. And one of my favorite methods of uh, making coffee <laughs> 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 One of my favorite methods of making coffee is, of course, <laughs> the drip pot. What's so good about the drip pot is you can make coffee for a whole fucking shit ton of people. Now, as you can see here, I did cut off the power cord, and now it is just a prop and not a functioning coffee machine. <laughs> so therefore, we cannot use it. So we're left to use espresso. Now, what's really exciting about espresso is that it's a little concentrated beverage that started in Italy in, and I'll put the date here, 1870 something. And I'm just gonna turn up the brightness on this. <laughs> I feel like we just need to give it a little more gas. Now, the first thing you need to know about espresso is it's like a shotgun to the ass. It's a powerful flavor that a lot of people are not prepared for, and a lot of people think it's stinky or gross. But I'm here to tell you it's not that. It's not that at all. I like to go for a shot of espresso around 18 grams of coffee. And if it tastes weird, you're gonna have to calibrate your grinder. 
typically. So let's get grinding, Will. Behind, behind, behind. See? <laughs> Just listen to the sound of the grinder. With the saute, you want to have it nicely browned and stiffened. And then after that, it's going to cook covered. The thing about espresso machines, ow, shit. <laughs> They are definitely hot. Two napkins between you and a hot surface. Probably you want to do more. We have this beautiful bed of coffee, okay? Thing like this will make you cream your jeans. This one's gonna disperse the grounds in an even way, and it's kind of fun. How cool, not necessary. If people tell you you need this, they're part of the bourgeoisie and they must be killed. You just want to tamp evenly and effectively. This is actually a tamper I really like that uh, does it evenly. It, catches the sides, you go in at an even pace. It's perfect. And how nice is that? How clean is that? How cute? If you make coffee that tastes shitty, be proud of that. Because I do that literally all the time and I've been doing this forever. Will, fly out. Power on the machine. No. You just turned it off. <laughs> like I, I turned it on, but it wasn't powered <laughs> off. Basically, I have to think about it. Is it solubility, all right? Picture a bath bomb. What is a bath mom? A bath bomb, <laughs> I thought you said bath mom. Will. Is that one of your filters? <laughs> bath mom is my search term. Let me get this on paper. <laughs> Make them get this going. Let me yeah, get this on. Going. No, we gotta deal with this now. So basically, you wanna saturate coffee grounds, coffee beans, you wanna saturate the outer layers. Saturate and wash away into your cup the acids and the sweets, the bitters and the chocolates. But you don't wanna wash away so much of the bath bomb that you're getting the poop flavor. Places, places, get to your stations. Water is coursing at a thousand pounds a second. Compressurizing what we know is the good stuff. Whoa there. So what we've got here is a shot of espresso, that good good, that golden. Wars have been fought over crossing will right in front of my camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. It's pretty good. It's it's just a, I just think it's a little more challenging, you know. I think maybe your high is throwing off the flavor. But I was high at the coffee shop. Okay, so first thing we're gonna need to do, Will, I want you to grab the milk. Okay. How's it going out there, champ? Really good. Let's rock. What's it? Is this mine? What is this? You you put that on the ground. Oh. During the, during the last 30 minutes. <laughs> Therefore, we cannot use it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna slide your finger. Actually, I don't know how your finger. Slide across. What the fuck was that? <laughs> you like put a fingerprint in it. No, I'm just trying to be careful. Like that. See, okay, you gotta put your back into it kind of harder than that. Oh yeah, you do have to put, this is hard. There you go, that's it. Okay, you, don't have, you only have to tamp once. Well, I tamped a couple times. Ah! So what we're basically gonna do, Will, is we're gonna create tiny little bubbles inside. And then I'm gonna do what is what I think is gonna be one of the best lattes of all time. But I think we'll have to see. Oh, look at that foamy little fucking thing. Pour your espresso here. Do you want to pour it into a cup? Or? Yeah, put it in the uh, put it in the the, the devotion the yellow cup. It didn't. Um, it didn't. It didn't take. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we just saw it working before. Like, what, what, is it clogged? It like. It didn't. It didn't. <laughs> Is this a normal part of coffee making? Oh yeah, sorry, the steamer didn't take this time. I just, every 200 times where that'll happen. Oh! You did describe this as the best latte of all time earlier. What went wrong there? <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't know. <laughs> he genuinely doesn't know. <laughs> it sucked in the milk. 
And then when you've got it all brown, you flame it with cognac. This wouldn't, of course, be Napoleon's brandy because that would be too young for him then. Okay, let's go. Okay, but it's really hot, so you gotta make sure it doesn't burn your goddamn hand off. Oh, that's hot. Fuck, that's so hot. <laughs> then you always, always gotta <laughs> clean up. <laughs> you're gonna take your milk, you're gonna drop it in, boom. Get a little even, nice and nice. And then yeah, fucked up the design, but you get the idea. <laughs> Did you at least like the... It looks so vulva-like. Oh my god, yes, very vaginal. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty fucking good. Yeah. That's pretty good, right? I'm not wrong? That's good. And, and there you have it, folks. That's really good. Miles clinches with Will as his Sue. I might even like that better than the latte we got. I could fucking tongue you <laughs> do down. Not, please I do feel not. so I grateful see, for you. like, flecks of, like, you know, <laughs> foam on your beard. That's just milk in an old espresso cup. And that was good. Now we have a very special surprise. This is one of my favorite desserts of all time. The affogato. Will, what's your favorite coffee memory? My dad would take me to get coffee. He would get us uh, vanilla milk steamers. It's just, just steamed milk with a little squirt of vanilla in there. Oh, that's nice. And it's fucking so delicious. What do you love about your dad? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a really kind, considerate person. That is a decent extraction, but it's not perfect. But it's a good lesson. Nothing is ever perfect. Even things that may feel so. I once got a great sweater, and then I lost it. <laughs> now we're gonna dig into our creamy little ice cream. Oh man, I fucking love ice cream so much. I have ice cream like almost every day. Hey, you day. know, you gotta find ways to find joy in your life, and ice cream's one of them, you know? This is a very simple dish. It's just ice cream and then fucking espresso. Oh, forgot. So I find that people are like, oh, it's gonna keep me up at night. Oh, whatever. And yeah, that's something to consider. So you're just gonna pour the piping hot espresso just fucking all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you are spilling it. But it's just really nice because it kind of creates a coffee ice cream and it's got this warm, melty, nice, like, thing to it. I mean, it's Pump good. fucking on, right? There's no way this could be bad, though. And it also is forgiving. Like, if your shot of espresso is actually, like, kind of, like, bitter and not good, it's gonna yeah. be so good on ice cream. One last bite, and let's cheers to our wonderful day. I just want everyone to know, if you are at home and you feel like you can't make coffee. Do you think you're solving a problem with this series, Miles? Like, you're free in the world, I mean. This is a non-profit video. Hey. Cheers to you, the viewer. Oh, it's cold. It's so fucking good. Thanks for watching Coffee Pod, the show where we drink coffee after we smoke pot. And this is the first episode, if you have ideas for other fun Coffee Pot episodes that you want our little asses to do. <laughs> Comment below, please.